Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Weasley Park. Let's get out of the rain, let's start this tour. So, real quick, I just wanna pan up so you can see it, but don't forget, I'm gonna throw a link right here. I have my free mobile app. Go ahead and download it. It only works on phone, not PC, not desktop, but you get new homes as soon as they hit the market. So it's only gonna be resales, but as soon as someone posts any home, I need to hurry up through this water, on the MLS, you will get a notification right away. So make sure to do me that huge favor, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe. Again, I put new tours out every single day. This one right here, the Barnett, 2,030 square feet. Two story, three bedroom, two bath, two car garage. It starts at 386, 500. I filmed this somewhere else. It's very similar. I'm gonna link to it, I'll have to find it. Don't remember where. It's one of these American West communities. We are over in the Southwest portion of Las Vegas. Also, if you wanna see new homes, make sure to call a realtor. Don't go filling out information online or go into the sales office because the builder will not let you be represented. Again, fun fact, as the buyer, you do not pay the commission, the builder does. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. All my info is down in the description below. Look at this laundry room. Wow. So storage galore. This would be your coat area. And then this would be your um, Kroger shopping center. How cool is that? I'm liking this already. A little bit about the community again. It is in the Southwest. This is an American West build. The HOA here, non-gated, $45 a month. Average lot so far, this community just opened three weeks ago is anywhere between seven and $17,000. Right here's your two car garage. Now this home probably has somewhere between, let's call it 50 to 80,000 in it. Now average buyer usually is putting anywhere between 10 to 20%, so 35 to 70. So how cool is this? I'll come back in when we turn around to show you this amazing loft. This is super cool. I think they have this same model. Was it Fox Hill or it's a different American West community right like down the street. I just can't remember where. There's a lot of American West right here in this portion of the valley. So right here you have, I. If I remember correctly, this is the master. The master is downstairs on this one. It's not upstairs. So king size bed, two nightstands, give your window, and then you have your chair. And I'm going to spin around so you can see everything. Really, really nice size room. We need our tree. I don't see our tree. Now the carpet and the flooring are 100% upgraded. I will show you everything. I'll point out upgrades so you can see them. They did the electrical package with the can lighting, if you know. I always say, now I don't want to tell you how to spend your money, but when people are asking, you know, what should I buy? What should I put into the house as far as options and upgrades? I always recommend structural upgrades because those are harder to change later on. It's easy to change carpet. It's easy to change countertops as far as lighting, sliders, patios, like patio covering or balconies. It's harder to do that later on. Again, if you have questions, please reach out to me. So nice. I do believe that is the standard stone here, but I'll point it out. So love the shower. I really like the, the really dark hardware they chose. So this is your standard shower head. This is the optional shower head. I know in other communities, again, this community may be different as far as pricing, but in other ones, it's like, call it a $1,200 option. They have the soap niche and they have the bench. <clears throat> now what they do in American West is they do cart, uh, cultured marble, which is actually kind of nice for the stone, <clears throat> excuse me, because you don't have a ton of grout lines. 
Like if you were to do tile, like there's your seam, there's your seam, there's your seam. So it actually makes it easier to clean. And it makes me so happy seeing a towel rod right by the door. It's actually a really narrow door, but nonetheless, really, really nice shower. We have our toilet and we have our vanity area. So I always like to look just as bumpers. These look like upgraded cabinets. Now 100% they're upgraded with hardware. Normally with, har um, with the cabinets, you're not gonna get any hardware, but these do look like the more modern cabinets compared to the standard ones. It's an interesting color combo with like the brass and then the black faucets. I kind of like it. Let me know what you guys think. So undermounted sinks, I do believe again, standard countertops. They usually have like two or three different countertops to pick from. This looks like one of the standard uh, stones. At least it is in other communities. And then we have our closet. So not the biggest closet in the world. I'm gonna be honest, it's probably six by seven. But the problem with it is, it's not even that it's not that big, it's that they didn't use the space to the best of their ability. Because you could easily move like one of these up and double your space. And then I wanna know, how many of you would rather have shelving here compared to like double bar? Hmm. Just because it is a nice size closet, I just feel like what they did with it isn't the best use of space. I wanna hear your guys' thoughts. We spin back around. Again, nice size bedroom, really big bedroom. We spin back out here. Again, I know we're gonna go over the uh, loft, or not the loft, I don't know what you would call this, like the bonus room, but really nice size. Let's come over here. And then we'll also take a look. This is cool. Now 100% that is all upgraded. They did a mini fridge, kind of a bar area. They didn't put a sink in it, which is kind of funny because I know a lot of people are looking for next gens. Now it would be hard to do a next gen with this because that is the master suite. So there is no master suite upstairs. But while we're here, I am 100% not going outside because it is raining. But I want to tell you at least with the backyard, you have to budget with the backyard when you were buying new. You know what? I'll go under the pergola because they kind of did some stuff. Oh, can we not go outside? You know what? We're not going outside. So when you buy a new home, you have to budget for the backyard. The backyard will only come dirt. So it is your responsibility to finish it. Now, these backyards are probably only 20 feet. The standard backyard is another 10 feet deep. These might be 15 feet, so another five feet. These are pretty small, but Average backyard out here, ten to or twelve to fifteen thousand dollars. They probably only put, if you exclude the pergola and that, they probably put like five or six, maybe six, maybe six. But make sure you budget for that. The HOA is going to give you six months to finish it. If you want to add a pool spa heater, which you could do in a thirty foot by forty foot backyard, automatically figure forty five thousand dollars before you um, before you landscape it so we have our garage again front door and let's go ahead and go upstairs i do like all the windows they have these three right here they have this window right here now 100 percent the railing is an option the flooring's an option <clears throat> i can't remember and it's bugging me right now what the other model name is because it's the exact same one but the other one was built probably 10 years ago and it had like the little Juliet round right here. This is way more modern looking and I really like the difference that they did with it. It's actually, it's really nice, really nicely done. Right here we have our balcony. And again, it is, oh, it's stopped raining. Hallelujah. This is standard and it is super clean. Before we check out all this, before we check out, oh, I'm gonna make you wait. We'll go look at the bedrooms. So, oh, they only mocked this as a two bedroom? Where's the third bedroom? 
So I just had to run around the house because I knew this was a three bedroom. I didn't even know they had this as an option. They did double master suites. So this is only showing as a two bedroom. Kind of cool, kind of different. Oh, please comment down below. Would you do two bedrooms? I know that's not a lot of bedrooms, but would you want to do three? Because I'll show you how the third would have been. But this is a huge bedroom right here. Dresser, nightstand, nightstand, bench, full-size bed. Really, really big room, really big room. If we spin around just so you can see. Huge window. And then I'll come back around and show you. So normally they cut it like right here and then this would be one room and this would be one room. So coming into this room and we'll come out and back around because it's really interesting how this goes. So you can opt for the second sink. It's like a $800 option, $1,000 option. I feel like almost everyone will if they do the second master. Undermounted sink, again, same countertop, same sink, same faucet. 100%, if I was doing the two bedroom only, second sink, same cabinets. I didn't even know this was a thing in this house because I've seen the other models, I've shown the other homes, and it was really throwing me for a loop. So I'm gonna try to do my best to explain how this layout is because it is a bit odd because the toilet for this bathroom is actually shared with the powder room. It's a very interesting layout and it's kind of cool, kind of different, kind of odd because you have a sink here and the toilet here, which the door would go here and then your bathroom. I kind of want to back up just a second to show you how the normal layout would be. So normally if you were to come into this room, this would be the doorway going into the third bedroom all right here. This all would be the third bedroom and the door coming into this room would be right here and the wall would be right here. So that's how you would separate out the two bedrooms. Basically, I am standing in the second bedroom, the wall right here. I am now in the third bedroom. So they've taken that entire third bedroom into a bathroom. But in order to do so, you have your vanity, vanity, well, minus vanity, shower, closet, linens and then your toilet is actually the powder room because this is where the powder room enters sink toilet i'll come in and show the powder room again i just wanted to try to do my best to explain the layout of it because it is a little different it's a little unusual i feel like honestly if this uh i'm trying to figure out how i would have closed this off and made this a toilet area that that's what i would have done Again, I'm not the architect, it's just, it's it's a little odd because you could have gotten rid of this linen closet and done a toilet right here. That's 100% what I would have done. Toilet right here, door right here, and then the powder room is its own room. Because it is, it's, I don't know. Let me know what you think. I'm trying to do my best to describe it. It's just I've never seen anything quite like that before. It is a little different. Right here we have our shower and they did a very nice job on this. Again, culture marble with the bench. And then we have our soap niche or soap shelf and our shower head, really nice shower. I just wanna spin around really quickly because I know I am now calling these Vegas windows because that is like mid torso high. You could wave to your neighbor. Again, I know I joke about it with it being Vegas, but not everyone wants to put on a show. I just wish they would either do privacy glass or something to adjust for that. You would have to 100% do something with that. Unless, well, again, it is Vegas, so maybe not. This is a big closet. It's a really big closet. So knowing this 100%, I'd even rather have this area be blocked off, get its own toilet right here, and lose a little bit of closet space because let me know, as a second master, even the primary master, like, would you want to share the toilet space with the powder room? I think, uh, I don't know. I feel like this is a bit of a miss, just because again, 
that wall does go there, I would 100% rather lose the linen closet. And it may honestly be an option. They have a lot of different ways they do homes in American West as far as options and upgrades. 100%. If they do offer the second toilet, I would get the second toilet. We have our pedestal sink. We have our toilet area. Again, you would have to access this to use the toilet for that second bedroom. Very interesting. I'm very curious what you have to say about this one because it is different. It is a cool idea to only have two master bedrooms. But again, I don't know how many people would actually just buy this as a two bedroom house. I wanna hear your thoughts. I wanna hear your opinions. Let's check out the rest of the home. So we have our dining area. 100% you can go bigger with the table. Now you could even add two chairs on the end. It is nice. They obviously set up, this is like their office space. I know right now a lot of people are working from home, especially after last year, or they're studying from home. Again, my mom's an elementary school teacher, so I know all the kids are online only. So we have our holographic image fireplace. I do think you can actually change the color on these. They're like a $6,000 option. It's not a real fire. It's not a real flame, but I love whoever decorated this in here. It feels so upscale and super nice, super clean. I want to spin real quick so you can see everything. I love, love this living space in that kitchen. I don't know, it just feels like super sophisticated, super like clean, super nice. I'm just, I'm not loving the shared toilet in the master. It's the only thing I don't like about this. So coming into the kitchen, we have a lot of counter space. Nice. So if you watch these tours before, you will know that they used to do that massive double fridge. Unfortunately, right now they can't do it because the supply lines have been impacted from last year. They will actually still cut the hole for that giant fridge and you can source it yourself. But right now, standard fridge, they have a 48 inch fridge and then that 60 inch would go almost to that pantry door. So I don't know, would you still have it cut for the bigger one and try to find one later on? I think I would personally. And even if I couldn't for the time being, just get a smaller fridge. Now, there's all these cubbies. I feel like you don't even need a dining table because of how much room there is. You can even put another two bar stools right here. But love the pendant lighting over the island. Let's go all the way over and check out the pantry. Now, if you get that big fridge, it's gonna come to here. You're gonna lose quite a bit of your pantry because this pantry is actually pretty good size. It was all the way back there. They even put shelving right here. So again, if you have the whole cup bigger, you will lose portion. You know what? I don't want to promise that actually that I've said that. I know in other communities, you can still have the whole cup bigger for the fridge. I don't know in this one. Again, the community's three weeks old. So really love these cabinets. Backsplash is super cool. It may not be everyone's taste, but I'm really liking it. You have your dishwasher. Really cool sink. I do believe this is a Kohler sink, so upgraded. Nice faucet. Huge window. You may want to put like maybe just some contact paper over it because I can see right into your neighbor's kitchen. Or maybe even some like shutters, blinds, something. They even did the lighting underneath. It's, it's pretty nice. Here's your oven and range. You have your five burner cooktop. You have your microwave and they have like three or four different levels of appliances that you can choose from. You have your vents. And then did they put, yes they did. I'm gonna back up real quick. They did put right here. That is a phone outlet. I know they're big on that with the community. Let me know what you think about this one. I feel like it's a huge success. I just feel like that one little toilet thing would bug me. And it may not be that that's the only case. I know with this builder, they have a lot of different options that they could do. If they could do it a second toilet, 100%, I would go for it. If not, would you option for the third bedroom? Are you open to a two bedroom? It's a big house for only two bedrooms. 
Again, I want to hear what you guys have to say. If you have any questions, again, all of my info is down in the description below. Would love to help you out in any way possible. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. Again, it really does help out the channel. Thank you to all the new subscribers. We've been like growing at such an insane pace. It's super cool and I'm glad everyone's enjoying the channel. As always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.